Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing today? Happy Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's Day, so I figured it'd be appropriate to do a little get ready with me. It's not a Valentine's Day get ready with me, though, so don't expect that. But it could be because I wear the same makeup for every occasion. So it's the morning. I just washed my face, so we have that fresh, clean canvas. Start off with a eye mask. 24 karat gold under eye mask, which I think is just gold paint. No way they're selling gold like that. So we're going to pop this on for 30 minutes. That way my under eye just feels really cool and refreshed. Because we want that awake look. We don't want to look tired on Valentine's Day. No, we don't. You know, I feel like a big shot right now. Having 24 karat gold under my eye. <laughs> You can't touch me. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting. My Vietnamese is really good, actually. So, just wait for it. Hi, go. Go quay at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna order to go. Yeah. Chẳng lấy một phần hủ tí xào, không gạo cải. Yeah. No, không có ăn gạo cải. Chỉ bốn miếng thịt thôi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tới đó chắc một tiếng hay một tiếng gửi cũng được. Yeah. Okay. Cảm ơn cậu. Bye. Alright guys, it's playtime. So the first thing I'm going to be using is my foundation. And I usually just mix these two colors together because... Right now, I'm in the mix of like, am I tan? Am I pale? What am I? So I'm just gonna get my tan foundation with my light foundation and just create a baby with them. I'm using a stippling brush. I usually start down here. And then I work my way up to my cheeks, my nose, and then my forehead. The foundation is LA Girl Pro Matte. And I love, love looking matte, so the foundation kind of just like gets matte as you apply it and it dries up like slowly, turning matte. <laughs> and I love that so much. Now, just in case that little under eye patch didn't do anything for us, we're going to go ahead and conceal to make us look really, really awake. <laughs> concealer that I love is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I feel like it's such a creamy texture. And it just feels and it glides so nicely across my face that I sometimes want to do my whole entire face with this because it's really full coverage. Use a dry beauty blender because I don't like wetting my beauty blenders, you guys. I don't like wetting my beauty blenders, you guys. I don't know why. I never have. Well, I did once and it was just a mess. Like, I had to put the sponge aside to let it dry and I couldn't put it, pack, couldn't pack it away right away. I don't know. I just didn't like the idea of like, feeling water on my face also but I mean I've used these beauty blenders so many times dry that like there's so much makeup in it it's a little gross and unhygienic but if it gets the job done it gets the job done and so far for the past three years that I've done it I have not broken out so guess what I'm gonna keep doing it <laughs> I woke up today with such a raspy voice I'm so happy I had my morning coffee because that kind of like did nothing for me but it just felt so good going down my throat now I'm going to use a little, this isn't even a sponge, it's like something, it's something. A little baking powder, and this is just some random one. And put that under the eye and just basically anywhere that I've concealed. So like under the eye, under my nose, I put it on my nose, my forehead, my chin, smile lines. And then once I got all that spot covered up, I'm not even kidding, I put it all over my face. I like being an actual definition of a cake face. Literally. If it was my birthday right now, I'd shove my face into a cake just to show you how literal I am. So I don't wipe this off. I just go straight into this and pack it over and I wipe it. That way as I'm removing the loose powder, I'm applying the color powder over it. And I seriously mean it when I say I love having a matte face. So the Bronzer that I use to contour is the NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Medium. I literally broke this a few days ago and I had to go out and get a new one so it's relatively new. 
I'm going to just brush that on our cheeks and make it look really tan and sunk it in like we haven't eaten in years. <laughs> I'm going to put a little under my chin to really sculpt it. We put a little bit up here just because why not? We can't just be tan at our cheeks. We gotta be tan everywhere. <gasps> and now it's my favorite part, a non-surgical nose job with just makeup. The best tip I can give you for this is to just do it on like full on front lighting. Like do you guys see how this nose already has a shadow? I'm just gonna follow that. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Just follow the natural shadows of your nose because when you put makeup over, it can really make your nose disappear. Because now you're making everything one color. So I gotta bring the contour back. And you guys, the nose contour is the most important part. If you do it in the wrong lighting, it will just tweak everything. I've had times where I've contoured a crooked nose by accident. Like I'll make this side curve and then make this side like curve with it because the lighting was weird. And then in the sun, I'm kind of like, oh my God, I gave myself a crooked nose. So when it comes to nose contour, please walk over to the other room or anywhere with like full on front lighting because that makes the world of a difference. But there was a time where I used to just never wear blush and then once I did, it really just turned the look out. I love having like a little pink blush. I don't, it was always just pink so I feel like it really just makes me look cute and like adorable. And like it looks a lot now but like when everything else goes together up here, it actually is like not that bad. The highlight that I use is called Rude Baked Highlighter and it is in the color Champagne Sparks. It's the right amount of silver and gold so it always looks good. So I take a very small amount of this but just enough to make a difference. And I just throw it on my high parts of my cheeks. You see? And that's all I want. Nothing more, nothing less. And then I'll bring it under my brows too in the inner corner because that's very important. The inner corner sparkle just does the world of a difference, I feel. It just makes you look like so cute. I don't know, it's just me, but I love having it in the inner corner. I almost wanna put just straight up white in the inner corner because having it bright there just does so much. So now it's time for the eyeshadow. I usually use, actually I always use this color. I've had this, I've been using the same color for like three years now. I'm not even kidding. I've been using this since I was in high school. It is called Embark by MAC. And it's just the perfect color of like dark, but not too dark. Like I always have this color and this is the only color that I wear on my eyes. Sometimes I'll throw in a little bit of pink, but for the most part, it's always Embark by MAC. Always. Do you guys see that? The very bare minimum, but does the world of a difference? I don't know. I love it. And then once we have it up there, we bring it down here. So I'll take a small little brush, I'll dip it in the little embark, and I'll just pull, I'll push my eyelids down just a bit, but not too far because that will encourage your skin to sag, and we don't want that, especially when we just turn 21. And that just feel, I feel like this part just opens my eyes a lot. Like if you look at it here versus here, it's like, wow. So the eyebrow pomade that I use is from LA Girl. I just, I should, I don't know why I have so much LA Girl product. I just love it. But it's in the color warm brown because my hair is blonde. So I don't want to have too dark of a brow. I feel like that just look interesting, but I also don't want to have too light of a brow because I have really strong features. So I want the brows to pop, but not too much. So I always start at the arch and I love having a high arch. And I feel like that sometimes ages me, but the natural shape of my brows since growing up always has an arch. As I grew older, I kind of just defined it a bit more. So I feel like if I were to do any other like shape, it would just look weird because my face is structured to an arch. So the best brow tip I can give anyone is start off with the product at the arch and just slowly work your way towards the inner front of the brow because I feel like if you were to just kind of sculpt it, that's a lot of product they're adding in the front, making it really dark and very like high school girls, how they would just like put so much product all over. I like having a more natural looking brow, so I make the front more gradient. And by doing that, I have to start at the end and just kind of like use the bare minimum left of a product in the front. 
now that the brows are done it's time to move on to my favorite part which is my lips so the only color that I use for my lips is Italia and Dusty Rose and this is the only lip liner I ever use and I can prove it because I own about like 10 of them as you guys can see these are all the same color so that's fun so the lip is a very important part of my face it's my biggest feature so I like to exaggerate it even more my lips aren't that big you guys it's just I overline like crazy so so this requires the most concentration so I my lip line is right here as you guys can see but I started like a little bit up there <laughs> I like having a big lip let me live so I started right about here and that's kind of like a guy do you guys see where that white natural color of my lip is I don't like that white line so if I were to fill in my natural lip that white line would just be peaking and so to avoid that I just cover that white line right there with that lip liner and you guys the key to having a nice overline is you can overline it up to here but it always has to meet back with your natural lip line down here otherwise it will look ridiculous so do you guys see that as long as it goes back to your natural line down here it will look good I overline the bottom too I just have a problem same rule applies for the bottom lip though, it has to meet back with your natural lip line. See? A seamless overline. So once I have my lip line, I will then either go in with Lancome in the new pink or Revlon in 619 called Rose and Shine. I used to wear this color for about, a, I think four years or five years. I remember wearing it in high school like every day. But then Lancome recently sent me like a little try, like, oh, here's our new color, try it out. And at first I looked at it, I was like, oh, this looks disgusting. But when I put it on, I was like, wait a minute, this is the perfect pink. It's such a cute pink and it, it's really dark though, but it matches Dusty Rose like to the T. Now this is where I go in and think, do I want to apply the waterline? And in this case, I do. I want to look harsh and I want to look sexy. I'll show you guys the difference though. Like, do you guys see what I mean? This just looks more like, wow, she's mean. And this one just looks more soft and wow, she's approachable. We don't want to look approachable. We want to look scary. <laughs> and then now, after I get dressed and everything, I will go in with lip gloss and I feel like so I feel like the black waterline just makes the eyes pop because it's just so much black happening around it. It's like, wow, look at her eyes. So my favorite lip gloss is this one. It's Remo Stay Glossy. And I don't know what the color is in. Like, it doesn't say anywhere, but I don't know. But it's a light pink and it's super, super shiny. So it's everything I'll show you guys. The texture of this lip gloss is just so watery. I love it. Like, it doesn't feel sticky. It glides on my lip, and it glides so nicely, and I love that so much. But you guys, this is it. This is my finished get ready with me slash everyday makeup routine. It has not changed since day one. It's the same thing, same eyeshadow color, same process, same colors, same everything. And... I love that so much because this is my phase and I could never ever just try on a bunch of like makeup that's why I'm not a beauty that's why I'm not like a makeup artist and I'm not a makeup beauty influencer because different looks on me I won't like because I'm just used to this phase and this is my face and it's been like this for years but yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave a comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And if you're alone today, know that I love you. All right, until my next video, bye guys.